Hello, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody can hear me. This microphone sometimes drops out. <clears throat> it's a pretty microphone, but I see it, have, it gives a lot of people the same problem. No sooner than I uh, said it, that, that it happened, okay? This microphone tends to drop out a lot for me and for other people, and it's a shame because the blue mic is such a pretty mic. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a nice little, nice little funky music, so I'm not going to drop it out. I'm just going to drop it down a little bit. <coughs> How's everybody doing? Just... Uh, Wanting to wish everybody a happy Saturday, that's all. Just wanted to talk about art a little bit. Wanted to talk about my special language of, uh, I used to call it abstract, semi-representational, romantic realism, but I think the fact that it's kind of abstract is self-explanatory, so we're just going to call it semi-representational, romantic realism. And it is, in fact, not abstract, because abstract work doesn't interest me. If you can't render, then I don't really believe what you are saying, the veracity of your word, when you say that what you have created is a representation of abstract feelings or emotions or concepts that you may hold in your head or in your heart or in any other part of your consciousness. I'm a firm believer in the um, classic disciplines of rendering uh, portraiture, landscape, still life. <clears throat> Whether you're doing so in two-dimensional or three-dimensional medium. And you're going to see that in the near future when I bring the camera into my studio. So let me do a sound check, make sure everything sounds good. Make sure it sounds nice. Uh, the camera into my studio. So let me do a sound check, make sure everything sounds good. Make sure it's yeah, it sounds good. <clears throat> nice dreamy background. So, want to welcome everybody. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for sharing a part of your Saturday with me. Uh, feel free to make a comment in the comment section. Uh... Thank you, Jisan Ahmed. I appreciate it. Uh, Jisan Ahmed, I appreciate your subscri uh, subscription. And welcome. Welcome to the chat. I appreciate your being here. Not really much today, just talking about my work. That's all, just talking about artwork. Um, you can uh, feel free to call in at any time. Uh, let me get my telephone number here. All right. I'm not afraid of, uh, communication. You can call in. That's my number. Once again, disgusting, this microphone. It is really disgusting. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm going to take a break and take a trip down to Best Buy, and I'm going to purchase myself a superior microphone. You know, it's really sad that Fry's is closed. Fry's is my favorite. Uh, it was my favorite um, store for uh, electronics, and I'm pretty sure... Actually, Fry's is where I got this one. And I do have a few other items that need to be returned to Fry's. 
So I'm going to find out. Maybe I can box them all up and return them all to fries with or without uh, receipt. But it's sad that fries has gone belly up and that this particular microphone seems to have this repeating problem. Now, where was I? Oh, I was in the midst of doing a sound check. Let me do a sound check, make sure my... Now, where was I? Oh, I was... <clears throat> very good, very good. Say something in the chat so that I know you're here. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you have any questions about semi-representational romantic realism, I'd like to hear them. Shoot, you know, give me a call, let me know. I'm going to be exploring various topics and various subjects in my work. Um, you know, even though uh, a lot of the themes are kind of uh, stylistic, uh, so to say, and also kind of uh, maybe risque or adult uh, in nature. Um, I am going to also be touching on uh, political topics and other subjects. So I think it's very good uh, to take part or to participate in watching the development of my work. Like I said, I'm going to be auctioning my work as you know, while it's uh, in process. So if you should like to uh, bid on my work before it's uh, done, then uh, you, can, you can go ahead and do that. And if you would, of course, like to just purchase the piece flat out, I am going to uh, allow people to do that. If you give me a, uh, such an impressive price uh, for a work that I'm working on in process, that I can't refuse, then of course I'm going to lock it in and I'm going to say that uh, you're the owner uh, of that piece when it's finished. But um, I think it's important. I think it's important that we continue to use the traditional disciplines of art to um, kind of push against the current uh, communicational restrictions that we are being given uh, the content restrictions, if you will, or censorship, out and out censorship. You know, I'm trying to avoid the C word, but I can't avoid the C word because it is what it is. It's out and out censorship. So, yes, um, we're dealing with censorship. So we're having to find creative ways that we can... <clears throat> that we can continue to express what we are doing, what we are expressing as entertainment, as a form of entertainment. And uh, and to get in the uh, messages that have to be uh, communicated in order for us to be as powerful as we need to be. And I hope I said that gingerly enough to appease the powers that be, to be honest with you. It's sad that I have to even think along those lines, but that's the truth. You know? Thank you once again for joining. Like I said, get those likes up. Thank you for getting the likes and the comments up. Thank you. All right. Nice, uh, nice non-feedback sound check. Things are working out well. So uh, here we are. The gyms are reopening. Things are starting to reopen little at a time. 
you know, we were taken through the changes that we were taken through because we dared to think freely and to think for ourselves and to think as a nation. We've taken a serious assault. I mean, that's a fact we can't really we can't really avoid. But um, we are in a you know, we're resilient people. Right. We're a strong people and we are going to fight back and we are bouncing back. Free speech will win. And so will uh, so many of these uh, new communication avenues that are opening up uh, new sites. So you can find me on Parler. You can find me on BitChute. You can find me on uh, pretty much every uh, uh, Vimeo. You can find me on pretty much every channel that will have me, every website that will have me. And I'm going to continue speaking the truth. I'm not going to come from, you know, some radical uh, point of view um, because I'm not a radical guy, not in that sense. Uh, but I am a truth teller. Excuse me. Oh, I'm almost going to sneeze. <coughs> Actually, I did. Excuse me. So, yeah, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. And, of course, if you'd like to... Um, hear a word from our sponsors or even if you would not you're going to hear one <laughs> gold label quality biomed rx cbd oil is made from organic hemp that is locally grown glyphosate free gluten free non-gmo homogenized third party tested and co2 extracted visit www.biomedrxcbd.com Biometrics Optimum Woman is the only woman's high-potency full-spectrum multiple vitamin supplement to contain 56 nutrients, including those most important for today's woman, such as calcium for bone health, iron for healthy red blood cells, beta-carotene, biotin for nail and hair health, gamma-linoleic acid from evening primrose oil, octosanol, grape seed extract, a potent antioxidant important for maintaining capillary strength, and vegetarian digestive enzyme. Visit www.biomedrxsupplements.com. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you once again. So, like I said, uh, romantic, well, you know, semi representational romantic realism. We went over these pieces before, these are earlier pieces that I've done. All right. Uh, this is probably the last piece that I did before uh, semi-representational romantic realism. It's just called Seven Flowers and a Nail. I think that I think I did that one back in 1988 uh, or 89 in that area, in that era. And uh, this is another one I did around 1990. And uh, this is around the time. This was actually done before I attended. Um, the Otis Institute of Parsons School of Design or Otis Parsons here in Los Angeles. Uh, most of my work, including the style of semi-representational romantic realism, uh, was developed on my own when I was basically what is technically defined as a naive artist, which means a self-taught self -taught artist. It's no insult in being called a naive artist, okay? Uh, there really isn't. Um, because, like I said, my most powerful work was the work of my own mind. Now, did I benefit from uh, formal education in fine art? Absolutely. Absolutely. I studied at Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Madrid, Spain. And <clears throat> um, I also studied at, uh, like I said, at Otis Parsons here in Los Angeles, and I learned some some powerful things. Uh, you know, a lot of it was through my own study. It's the same with film, right? I learned a lot from film school, but I also learned a lot. I learned more because of my own passion for film, uh, for the subject of film, and um, my desire to find great books and to fill my bookshelves in my home with great books. And... Um, and I think that's kind of I think that's kind of the way to go, okay. 
So, you know, here are pieces that, you know, I've done in the past, right? And uh, here's the piece that's on the cover here. And it's interesting that uh, I had not stretched it out on a previous video. But here you have her, Sweat and Bubblegum. And this is a significant piece because this piece marks uh, a hallmark in my career as an artist. It is a hallmark in every artist's career uh, to be stolen. And when an artist is stolen, you know, he goes down as being uh, infamous, okay? The plan to steal this painting was made before the paint on this painting was dry. Literally, literally, the plan to steal this painting was made before the paint on the painting was dry. In fact, <coughs> this painting, uh, <coughs> gave me paint stains while it was being hanged in a gallery okay and this is semi-representational romantic realism this is my art and this is a language an artistic language that i developed over the years okay and like i said not only in that piece it's in this piece as well and it's in this piece as well right um but I'm just sharing my work with you and I'm sharing my style with you. Now, my, my artistic language has grown and developed as the years go by and I reserve the right to uh, allow it to grow and develop through the years and through my life. I've made my bones. I've made my artistic bones throughout the, the years of my life. And making your bones as an artist not only involves um, and making your bones as a as an artist not only involves developing. I am simply heading to the store for a better microphone as of this moment. It may not be as pretty as this little dome here on the top of this radio looking blue microphone, uh, or it may be better, maybe prettier. I don't know, but I am going right now to buy myself a better microphone because I am not going to deal with uh, the microphone dropping out and I'm going to deal with fries and get the money back for this blue microphone uh, because I'm sure now that the economy is coming back that they're going to be coming open. But like I'm saying, uh, making your bones as an artist not only involves getting your uh, artistic skills together, right, which is very important, but it also involves... Um, getting your experience as a human being together, evolving as a soul, right? Spiritual evolution, personal evolution, right? But yeah, that's about all I have to say here because I am going to take this blue microphone up, this blue microphone issue up with uh, I don't really think replacing the microphone itself is going to help. I don't think replacing this particular mic is going to help. I believe that uh, these microphones are having jack problems and that I'm going to have to either take it up with the manufacturer or take it up with um, Fry's, the store that I purchased it from. Okay. But I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me.
and uh, you know, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful Saturday in Southern California. The sun has been just perfect. I mean, everything is perfect, actually. It's just a perfect, beautiful day outside. So I don't mind going shopping. I don't mind throwing on a mask and looking for a better microphone because I am done fighting with this microphone and I don't mind spending a couple of extra nickels to make sure that I have an instrument with which I can uh, broadcast um, successfully from home, all right? So I wanna thank you for joining me. Um, you know, very beautiful day. Have a very beautiful afternoon. Uh, thank you for getting those likes up and getting, getting those comments up. Um, you've seen the words from our sponsor. I want everyone to stay sexy and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining. Peace.